All right, boyos, we're back on Sendrith. Summoning up some drinks. Yep. We're gonna have to get our weight down as much as we can. It means we don't need to carry this 27 platinum. Because we're gonna be farming stuff, man. We're gonna be getting the stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. Bronze weaponry. We're gonna want to lug it back and forth between the merchants <coughs> and our camp. And we want to make as much each trip as worthwhile as possible. Means we're gonna minimize our our weight right now. I remember Sendrith got a little extra weight because I mean a little extra strength because I uh, hooked him up. Composition of air jab, bard level sixty. Okay. I just, I couldn't help, I had to look just one more time. Maybe the Sevelite scale belt, like, uh, resurfaced somehow? Maybe it just wasn't available for, like, a short time? It's being refurbished in the back. I'm pretty sure it's from that girl in the corner, but I'm gonna just check this guy first, because I'm desperate, man. I really want that Sevelite scale belt. It's, I know it's gone, but I just, just on the off miracle chance that it's back. Nope. It's gone forever. I'm tempted to buy this the ringmail coat. Even though the bronze gauntlets are a, a bigger upgrade for me. Taking me up by 5 AC. Where the coat, which only takes me up by 4 AC. I'm just tempted for the style. <laughs> the small leather wristbands would give me an increase of 2. Now that's something that might be worth... Yeah, we'll buy that. We will buy that. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything else? See, look at this bronze stuff. She's selling it for one, four, two, three plats. So we're going to make some money. We're going to make some money for sure. Let's sell this, this guy. We don't need him anymore. There's a bit of lag on the sales. It took me forever to log in, so I'm, I'm anticipating some trouble. But, oh well, that's life. Um, better just summon this Hammer of Wrath now. Look at that. Summons nice and fast. Conjuration's up to 38. Thanks to summoning all my own food and water. So, well, that's a 5 weight. Even though it's a summoned item, I feel like since it's summoned, it should be weightless. You know, in a sense, doesn't that doesn't that feel right? Feels right to me. Although I guess a hammer that has no weight might not be very useful. I'm out of food and drink. Wow, Sendrith got hung. It was already hungry. You already drank and ate what I already summoned here. So, on the itinerary today, sisters. If you're here for cleric strategy, because that might, this video is probably going to get into the cleric strategy and solo spots guide. I'm sorry for the slow beginning, but um, I'm enjoying myself, and uh, can't fault me for that. Guard Evital. Evital sounds like some new prescription drug. Please consult your physician before taking any Evitol. Known side effects include. <laughs> Alright, three would be enough, but I'm just going to cover all my bases and go up to five. Because I really don't want to have to do this again. I'm going to bank, and then I'm going to pause it while I get some maps ready. And we're going to like look at the map together and discuss our route before we hit the road because this is a famously dangerous zone Lord fate arc <clears throat> well I'm not too worried about it because I've I guess if maybe I've just had good luck thus far um, it's so famously feared that um, I don't know kind of like wanting to prepare a little bit oh I think I have Yep, I got a belt in here. What's that? It's, yeah, crush bone belts. Let's, let's get rid of that. Um, I think we're gonna have to put our our bat wings in here. Well, eh, maybe I can grab a couple more bats on the way and finish that stack off. 
All right, my weight is at 42. I think that's because I'm using both the shield and this hammer. The hammer is five, and the shield is eight. So I'm really, I'm really weighing myself down by going with the one hand blunt. However, I think it works better for the cleric dynamic. All right, I could have just gated out, but um, we're gonna walk back to the bridge. All right, so I'm just gonna sit here while I pull up maps and get ready for our little spiel. All right, my friends, I'm ready for my little spiel. Let me make sure it's showing up on OBS. It is. Okay, so here we are. We're looking at, let me make this a little bigger. Here we are. That's, let me make sure that showed up on OBS. Bigger. It seems to. So, this is Lower Fade Arc. As you can see in the northeast corner, there's Greater Fade Arc Zone Line, which is where we'll be entering. Now, if you go down to the opposite end of the zone, to the southwest corner, you'll see camp number 14. That is the sisters. That's the bandits. There's the sisters. But... We got a special extra little task. We are going for the Tunari symbol quest to get ourselves an initiate symbol of Tunari, which will give us one wisdom and three mana later to be upgraded um, as our abilities to complete the quest line permits. So we're going to be keeping an eye out for a rancorous ghast <coughs> at night in El Fay. And we want to get putrescent hearts. We need four of them. These guys are only level 12, but we're at the perfect level to kill these guys and get experience for it, right? Well, they'll be blue to us, so it's the perfect time to kill them. Um, get experience while we do, do a quest, right? So we're going to be after Rancorous Ghosts, and it didn't say on the wiki where they can be found. And you can see the location's like 3% what? It, oh, they have a couple locations. Let's see. 32,250. 32, 250. 32, 250. I think that's 32, I think, is the vertical. 2,250. No, 2,250 has got to be the the horizontal. Okay, yeah. 32, 2,250. Looks like it's about where I was thinking we should go, which is the number eight, the Haunted Shrine, which fortunately is right next to the Sisters Camp. So we'll be able to just grind Sisters and at night take a jog over to the Haunted Shrine, see if we can't find any of these ghasts. They're apparently not always up. They spawn randomly in any of the undead spawns. And so it can take a little while to get these hearts, but we're gonna be there for a little while. So that's our plan. We're going to run through here. I'm going to stick mostly to the path because it's a dangerous zone. We especially don't want to go across at f uh, 15 because that's inhabited by high-level tier doll dark elves. So we don't want to like run to the wall and then run along the wall to 14 because that'll take us right through a very dangerous camp there. Um, we do... 10, you see here, is where we will be selling and I ground I grinded the sisters before on my enchanter so I know how to go from 14 to 10 very safely there's like a ravine behind the orc camp you can run through and yeah let's get to it my friends okay we got the food and water we might need and we also got the hammer of wrath which should stick with us as we zone so I'm going to get my buffs up because my buffs are down at the moment. And instead of getting my little living nuke like I've been had up, like I've had up for a while fighting the orcs, I'm going to pull up my undead, ward undead. Wait, no, don't I have exile undead now? Yes, expulse undead. We're going to keep expulse undead up because I believe right now game time it is oh, 7 a.m. So we're just missing this particular night we're just get, barely gonna miss it that's okay we can get the quest later interrupted it's ridiculous boom let's see what our ac is up to now boys did it yeah 338 that's what i think it was last time you saw me i'm uh, i'm pretty happy with that Oh, 
I just realized you, you're not seeing anything. That's why I hate using the browser window. <laughs> anyway, we're buffed up. We're zoning into GFA. We're going to head over to LFA. I've been having a lot of connection problems, so this probably isn't going to happen on the first try. I'm probably going to have to quit, restart the game. But I'll see you soon in LFA. All right, here we are in Lower Fade Arc. And you don't want to know how long it took me to get here. <laughs> you don't want to know how many they crashed on both zones and had multiple, many multiple attempts to get back in after having so done. There's someone in the zone. I'm going to ask if they're the sisters. If they are, I'm going to have to finish this up at a later time, I think. So I, I strayed from the path, but I'm heading in the correct southwesterly direction, and I should be meeting up with the path in a second. In fact, I know I am. Because I have my Empire's map on. <laughs> is that cheating? Well, this is unfortunate. He is, in fact, camping the sisters, he said, for like 30 more minutes. Hmm. So I might just scrap this video. Start a fresh one already at the sisters, I think. But, um, so far this run... Ooh, Brownie Scout. Look at that. Whoa. That's why this zone is considered dangerous. She glares at me threateningly. She's red. And she runs so fast. I must have just gotten lucky. My whole time in this zone up to this point, I must have just gotten lucky to have not run in to that Brownie Scout right there. That was some scary stuff, man. Tiny little person booking it like maximum speed conning red and threatening wow i'm glad i caught that on camera so we're probably just gonna get to the the area this is the ranger outpost this is where we're gonna come to sell right in here Let's uh let's see what she's got. Maybe she's got a Legionnaire's bracer. Yeah, nothing that I would want to actually wear, so don't have to worry about. <laughs> I'm still hoping to find something good after missing out on that one. Um, Sebelite scale belt. Now there's an undead mob that I barely could beat. Let's let's see how it goes. Boom! Most of his life gone with a nuke. He's green, but uh, it's not certain that I will beat him, which means he will be a skill up mob. And he will be given experience. So I'm going to skill up off of him. We're going to go check out the, the sister's camp. Judging by how much Senrith is swinging, I'm getting some connection problems. I mean, I think he's getting all of his swings in mathematically, like in the code. But um, we're not seeing it because of the delay and the lag. So you're not seeing the swings every time. Which makes this game a bit harder to play. So while I'm thinking about it... Um, you see my hotbar, I've got Gate is 1, Root is 2, Healing is 3, Smite is 4, Expulse Undead is 5. Gate is 1, that's, if you look at my button set, that's down in like the 9 slot. But aside from that, I try to keep all the spells on the hotkey that corresponds to their spell slot number. And the reason I do that is because... You might forget which spell is where. Some of the spells have the same icon. So like Smite and Expulse Undead, they're both nukes. They both have the exact same icon. So if I'm not in the right habit, if I don't have the habit solidly, 
How do I know which one is four and which one's five? Well, I can look. Smite is in the fourth spell slot, so I know that's number four. Expulse on Dead is in the fifth. You'll see Center is in the sixth. Lull is in the seventh, and I don't even have it on the bar. And then Holy Armor is in the eighth, and that's in the eighth slot. So <clears throat> just something to think about when you're... I think um, I didn't always do it that way, and it just makes everything so much easier. I wanted to share that. Should should try to do that. And then... I haven't been doing a good job of this, but try to cultivate the habit of actually using the hotkeys instead of clicking the spells. I think part of the reason I don't do that enough is because I uh, have too many different characters. So I try to try to keep some uniformity. Like if I keep a heal in slot three, I try to do that on all my characters that have a heal, etc., etc. But I don't always do that, and so the safer bet... Look at how bad this lag is. Wow. The safer bet is to... Just click the spell that I'm after. But when stuff... When time is of the essence, let's say, you definitely want to use those hotkeys. So, for example, on my enchanter... Really trying to get myself into the habit of the hockeys. Um, charm break. Got a stun, mez, tash, recharm. And in the midst of those, if I'm really doing a good job, I'm hitting my global cooldown item to allow myself to cast faster. So that's all really pretty much requires hotkey use. Um, but even aside from that, even slightly less demanding, but still demanding enough is uh, high level. My high level Sendrith, uh, the stuff he's got to do, it gets uh, it gets to where you need to be fast enough, especially when I'm grouping with uh, my an enchanter. I got to be fast enough on my stun. Which stun? Do I whether it's just a single target stun or if it's my area stun? Heals, of course. So many uh, things. It's just, it ends up being better to be using the hot key buttons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, as opposed to clicking the spells. But you'll see me on this character mostly clicking the spells. And it's because I've got too many characters, long story short. But, you know, this is the type of stuff you got to think about, especially if. Uh, if you ever get to do a high level character, do some higher level content, you need to iron out all those kinks because it matters more. You get more time to figure out what you're going to do at this lower levels, much less so at higher levels when casters like clerics and enchanters get beat down fast, fast, dead in a couple of seconds kind of fast sometimes. Maybe a couple is exaggerating, let's say five to eight seconds. And that's probably being too generous. So there's a ravine right here, just behind the rangers. Where is the rangers? I, I lost track. Of, there they are. And you see, uh, this. I find this ravine to be safe. I walk along the ravine here. I'm going to tell that guy no rush. I'm not going to actually do the sister city. This guy that's here at the sisters disenchanted. Oh wait, first let me finish this. So the ravine, it will spill out right here, and this is the zone wall. I, I try to keep track in my mind of these trees. And you see that tree over there? Near the... Oh, look at that. You see that brownie? Ivil Bramblefoot. How does he feel about me? He is indifferent. Okay. You scared me, buddy. You got anything to say, Mr. Bramblefoot, if I hail you? Nope. This guy said, thanks man, I'm enjoying some chill dad camp time. I said, I hear you there. I'm uh, I'm actually positioning Sendrith, my other Sendrith, in Lower Guck, so I can start doing some more 
spend some of my free time doing chill dad camp with him. Now let's see, is this guy passed me up? What's his level at? He's blue. Would it be against guild's policy to heal you? That seems to be getting a little extreme. Like, you're, I know you're doing hardcore, etc., etc. But here, you can see him fighting the Shyla Nightbrite. <coughs> He's using his pet. He's giving it a torch. I'm not sure it helps at that level, but why not? Why not? He's nuking. That's a good method. I <clears throat> found it to be much better to charm, but he might be too low. Like, you should be at least 16 if you're going to try to charm the sisters, and especially, like, this class is such a ballsy choice for hardcore mode. Because charm breaks and stuff, like you can get you can get ripped up. You could die. No wonder he's using his pet. <laughs> So there's three spawns in the camp itself here. One, two, three. All within aggro range of each other. And then there's another spawn out here by the tree. And they all invariably drop a bronze weapon. They also drop some necklaces that are for a quest. I'll have to look the quest up again. He says he is going to charm. Yep, I'm going to. I made an enchant enchanter before, so I'm used to it, but I'll need to be careful. I plan to try doing jewel crafting for guild, one of the main reasons, really. Ah, okay, nice. If you jewel craft, but then you die, it's just gone? Or can you keep the char just for crafting? He's planning on jewel crafting with this hardcore character. Oh, oh, bejeezy. Wow, wow. I'm going to try it. I hope that there seems to be a wave of you know interest in this. I want to try it, but right now I'm, I'm focusing on this Sendrith. My internet's got a bunch of problems, and I don't necessarily need to join the guild and do it, but I want to try, like, play some hardcore. If I die, I'm done. I'd really love to have, do it with a real friend, though. Anyway, guys, here we are at the sister camp. We're not going to grind it today. Let's see what time it is. 6 p.m. It's almost... It's almost time where we could try to find we could try to find the haunted ruins. Let's go take a look at the ruins. They're supposed to be directly north of of the sister camp. Let's head out. Let me take another look at the map. It's north and slightly east. So like this direction. I'm gonna check out those ruins. I wonder if I should have bound myself. Yeah, I forgot to bind myself. I probably should have bound myself at like the G Fay zone line. Okay. Equestrial the Corrupted Unicorn is a red that will gladly attack me, so I should have died like right there. Luckily, I didn't aggro it. <laughs> now, here we got mummies all over the place. This is something we could try to grind if we're stupid enough to be anywhere near that unicorn. Because all these are greens, but they're, the fight is not certain, so they're all 
you know, they're going to give experience. Oh, gosh, that's so scary, that unicorn. Oh, but look at this mummy. I'm going to kill him because he's got a staff that looks like it could be cracked. Uh-oh. Look at the lag that I'm dealing with. This is the story of my life. Please, if I'm disconnected, just disconnect me. There we go. All right, let's get auto attack on. I am so scared now. Like, apparently that unicorn's just going to be wandering around. But I saw a p patrol over there. I'm hoping it doesn't come over here. Famous last words, I guess? I'm going to hit this guy. I'm tempted to hit this guy with another nuke. Just because my connection is so bad that it's, it's scaring me a little bit. There are two nukes. I mean, I should just keep fighting and skill up because these guys are green. That's a nice opportunity, but... I'm wondering if anybody who's watching knows, do you skill up faster against higher level enemies? Or does it not matter? Like if they give experience, you got the same odds of getting the skill up. Because I feel like I skill up much faster against blues, and then again, nice, crack staff, one plat. And then again, even faster against, you know, yellows, whites, you know, whites and then yellows, of course. So it seems to me that that's the case. All right, so here we got two together. Let's try a, a split here. That he resisted the lull. Okay, let's be careful. There could be brownies. There could be unicorns. Apparently, like evil unicorns. Oh, I just used the wrong nuke. Oh, that's funny. What a waste of mana. All right, I'm trying to just stay away from where I saw the unicorn. So we get to see the living nuke does 76 and the undead does 90. So you see the living nuke is on par. Of course, the living nuke I think costs more mana than the undead nuke. We're getting way better mana, uh, you know, usage on our undead nukes. And I think we're about to slip into nighttime. It is 8 p.m. now. I forget what time. Let me take a look while... 8 p.m. Yeah, so a rancorous ghost could spawn at any moment, I believe, starting now. So this is good that we're getting these kills, actually. We're clearing the spawns, and they'll respawn within the window that we're looking for, which means they'll have the potential of being the quest mob we're looking for. But here we are in Lower Fadark. I don't have so much experience here. I just went straight to the sisters camp with my enchanter and I grounded out there. And that was it. And I've come, of course, a couple of times. Pixie Prankster, apparently not KOS, thank god. I've come a couple of times to Miss Moore. You know, just ran there and that was it. Again. I'm not going to pick up that mace. Maybe I should. We're close to... Oh, Waff Soldier reasonably safe. Okay, I, I don't know who to trust around here. I mean, I know we got some crazy unicorn and giant spider. Okay. <sighs> I forgot what I was even talking about. This zone has just got me so on edge. So we grind the sisters. We see how we can do against these rancorous ghosts. This feels like a good time for me to call it, though. Uh, this is a good time to go watch a movie with the wife. I was only intending to do a short video, and this is about the, the length of it. I'm tempted to wait and see if I get a respawn of the mobs I'm looking for, but now is not the time, you know. Unlike the jazz standard, now's the time. I'm going to say now is not the time. Let's go to where I know it's safe over by the sisters against the wall and camp out there anyway this video is going to be a bit of a boring one but the next one the next one will be a strategy guide video and should be fun grinding some sisters I'm assuming that this guy well he he is lower than me so he could be at this camp for a long time and Perhaps he has the same playtime as myself. 
So even though we're on red, we might be SOL on a camp. <laughs> Which is one of the reasons I even joined red. I'm like, oh yeah, there'll be nobody there. I won't have to worry about anyone being at my camps, but... This camp is just too good. It's just a money maker. Alright guys. Thanks for joining me. And I will catch you next time. And this guy's like, you scared me. <laughs>